Do we live in the minds of some giant modern alien species? Are we actually part of the mind of God? Is our universe alive? I mean, take a look at our universe. How similar this is to the brain cells of an organism. Similar structures, similar connections, and similar activities operate according to the same laws and regulations of physics. Well, this is not some imaginary imagination, but a fascinating scientific discovery published by some very capable scientists. Astrophysicist Franco Vezza and neurosurgeon Alberto Folletti in the year 2020. We were experimenting on two parts of our brain, cerebral and non-cerebral. During this experiment, when he zoomed in on the brain samples with his microscope, he suddenly found something quite familiar in appearance but quite strange in itself. He saw that the structures visible in the brain at 40x magnification were exactly matching the picture of the universe captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. Now, they definitely look very similar in appearance, but does this mean that our universe is a huge brain of some advanced being? Well, in a few minutes you will know what revelations that research made. For now, even if the universe is a huge brain, scientists may never know about it. Yet mind you, it is very much. Soon, he was going to convert it into a living brain. Our scientists are working on such nanobots, which can swallow the entire Earth like termites within about 20 months, and even the entire universe in a few years. This is fascinating, but will it be something to fear for us humans, or a great achievement for humanity? And what are nanoboats? We will understand in detail further in the story. Before that, first things first. Let us see what similarities these two researchers found between our brain and the universe. So, Franco Vezza and Alberto Folletti's experiment was quite simple. In this, he checked the similarity of our brain and the universe on three basic parameters. First appearance, second structure, and third composition. So first of all, when he compared the universe and the brain, he did not see any similarity even remotely, just out of curiosity. He thought, why not see these brain structures under increased magnification in a microscope? Let's see how the patterns appear. And then, as he increased the magnification, he saw this. The brain samples contained tiny dots like galaxies present in the universe. That is, when we zoomed in a little on the brain samples and the images of the universe, similarity started appearing in them. Finally, when he zoomed these samples to their maximum magnification, they were literally in shock. At this point, they started seeing small dots in both the samples, along with lines connecting those dots, just like the image of the universe. So, once again, as you can see here, both our brain and the universe appear to be very similar structure-wise, and that is why, after ticking the first parameter, it was now the turn to check their second parameter. And the result of this investigation was something which they probably never expected. They observed that on an average brain, one neuron is connected to the four neurons next to it. And on the other hand, in the universe, on average, one galaxy is connected to the five galaxies next to it. This was wild. There was such striking similarity in their structures at the micro level. Both these parameters indicated that the universe might actually be a brain. But to further strengthen this point, he started comparing them on their final parameters. In this, he first compared the numbers of objects present in both of them. And according to his calculations, there are 69 billion neurons in the brain and 100 billion galaxies in the universe, which might seem quite different. But surprisingly, the brain's 69 billion neurons are 30% of its mass, and the universe's 100 billion galaxies are 30% of the universe's mass, and dates are not all guesses. The similarity does not end here. The composition of the remaining 70% mass is also similar. I mean, both the entities, i.e. the brain and the universe, are mostly made up of inner substances that do not interact with anything around them. For example, in the case of the brain, that substance is water, and in the case of the universe, that substance is dark energy. But friends, Hold on, wait. Can we call the universe a replica of the brain 
just on the basis of structural similarity. Because the major function of the brain is to think, so can our universe also think. Is our universe a life? If yes, how will we know? So, when there is a movement at the atomic level inside the neurons, then they get influenced by it and start acting randomly. During this act, he also influences the neurons around him, due to which a connection is formed among all those neurons, and the same connection gives rise to thoughts in the brain. Similarly, when the planets, stars, and asteroids present in the galaxy collide or gravitationally interact with another planet or star, due to such random movements, the things around them are also influenced. This interaction then influences the gravity of the entire galaxy, which in turn communicates with other galaxies with its help. And this is when an event is born in the universe, just like a thought in our brain. So, are these universal events actually the thoughts of the universe? Now, if the brain can be alive because of the ongoing interactions in neurons, then what? From the interactions of galaxies, can we also say that the universe is also alive? Well, that's a fascinating thought, right? Just because we do not have the answer to this question. Maybe you guys might be feeling that this concept is quite silly, but let me inform you, there is a major reason behind scientists following such weird and silly thoughts. That is, many long-standing problems of physics can be solved by being the brain of the universe including the biggest problem of all. To find the connection between quantum physics and classical physics. So Einstein's relativity predicts the behavior of large objects like black holes and galaxies. And quantum mechanics predicts the behavior of small objects like electrons, protons, and Cox atoms. Both theories are completely useless outside their domain and scientists have not yet been able to find any theory or equation that can explain the behavior of all objects, from protons to galaxies. And in such a situation, if we consider the universe as a brain, then we can describe the behavior of the objects present in it with these two equations. And here it gets more interesting. Both these equations, despite being opposite to each other like relativity and quantum mechanics, give the same results under some special conditions. That is, if the universe is a brain, then we can understand the behavior of all the objects present in it, from protons to galaxies, with a single equation. Now remember anything? We have been searching for a single equation for the theory of everything for a long time, an equation that can describe the entire universe. Besides, there are 26 such physical constants in our universe today. Due to their presence in the right quantity, our entire universe has been formed and is stable. Take the gravitational constant, for example. If its value fluctuated even a little, our universe would never have been formed. And this was also proved by astrophysicist Robert Dick in 1961. So, its meaning is absolutely clear. Thinking of the universe as a replica of the brain makes a lot of things start to make sense. But friends, you know what? While a group of scientists are supporting it, there is another lobby too, which considers it to be total nonsense. They think it's just our confirmation bias, which is showing us only what we want to see. According to the physicist Ludwig Boltzmann, who laid the foundation of thermodynamics, everything that we see is just an illusion. Like watch this clip. The structure shown in this clip forms a face only at a certain angle. If we turn it a little bit, you can see, this is a random wooden structure, just like this. What I showed you was the first image of the James Webb Space Telescope. This can happen to him too. As soon as we change our perspective here, the arrangement of galaxies seen in these images will also change. Now let us assume that our brain is not tricked into this and the universe is really a living brain. So there is still a big problem with this concept. The size of our brain is 140 millimeters, and electrical signals or information in it travel at the speed of 100 meters per second. That means, in our case, a thought occurs instantaneously. Now, if we apply the same thing to the universe, then the size of the observable universe is 93 billion light years, and the information in it travels at the speed of 3 to 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. That means, in comparison to our brain, 
it will take 10 billion years for one thought to form in the universe, whereas the age of this universe itself is 13.6 billion years. And that's why, friends, we will find some more solid evidence. Before we can truly conclude, yes, the universe is indeed a brain, and scientists are still working on it. But this concept opened the floodgates of imagination towards the simulation theory, which claims that our universe is a simulation created by an advanced alien species. At the speed with which human technology is advancing today, we will possess the power to turn the entire universe into one giant brain. Welcome nanobots. According to the prediction of computer engineer Bill Joy, by 2030, such nanobots are going to be created, which can replicate themselves and create many similar nanobots. And if these fall into the hands of the wrong person, they can potentially destroy the entire universe. You will be sad to know that such nanos have already been made in 2020, let alone 2030. In fact, in the year 2020, researchers from some universities took some stem cells of frogs and modified them with the help of AI and kept them to grow in a suitable environment. A few days later, when they placed those cells with normal cells and observed them under a microscope, they were mind blown. They saw that AI-modified cells were eating the normal cells surrounding them and creating other AI-modified cells like them. Now, if we consider this behavior that these nanobots are creating a new nanobot in a minute, then even at this slow rate, they can capture the entire Earth in just 20 months and can lay a network of consciousness and intelligence which will continue to expand further. From galaxies to clusters and finally to the entire universe, and then if someone looks at our universe, it will seem to them that it is a big, living, active brain, and Elon Musk's AI threat will prove to be true. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. So definitely, this technology should not fall into the hands of the wrong people, even by mistake. This will be our only prayer. But for now, we're left with only one question. So friends, what do you think? Is our universe really the brain of an advanced being? Please tell us in the comments what is your opinion. Every day, many such new hypotheses about the universe keep coming up, on people keep giving their opinions. But only a few hypotheses pass all the scientific tests. Like recently some cosmetologists have proved that the age of the universe we were told is actually wrong. According to his research, the Big Bang did not happen 13.7 billion years ago. Rather, it happened 27 billion years ago, as we were told, because they found some galaxies that are much older than 13.7 billion years. And friends, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to like it, share this video with your friends, and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Your support keeps us motivated to create more content like this. Thank you.